Aren't you awfully good at looking through uh, short periods of craziness that sort of jar most of the market? How much of yesterday do you think was truly historic? Well, I, I think that if you look at the uh, sharp spike in the VIX, and if you look at the rather disastrous-looking uh, uh, washout in the, in the breadth, the advances versus the declines, uh, normally called lows are of a type seen in washouts, you know, when, when there's a, a selling panic. And there were uh, strong aspects of the selling panic yesterday, uh, much of it related to the bond market. The fear is growing that there's, if the opinion if the opinion grows that the uh, the Fed has lost track or lost control of the market, and that's what that some of that uh, panicky selling was all about yesterday. I've seen a lot of commentary um, art this week, but from the street and from some business press that rather than fear of uh, this action in the market, uh, that the the benefit from a stronger economy is going to outweigh the drag from higher rates, and that this is welcome to what a recovery looks like. You got a problem with that? Uh, not, not a big one. And in fact, uh, uh, up until recently, I thought the markets were uh, incorrectly worrying about uh, the Fed and inflation and, and uh, uh, a variety of other things, because if you just go back to before the pandemic started, where rates were, and then the pandemic set in, and rates virtually collapsed. So I thought the, the yields were coming back um, pretty much on just that whole reopening. You know, we, we're going to get back to business again. Um, so I, I think that's there. But I, as I say, you have to be very careful. There is a, a fine line. If the, if the market begins to believe that the Fed has somehow lost control, of, of where the bond market's going, you know, all that idea of a, a, a of a, a, a taper tantrum uh, will uh, will show up because if the if the market begins to believe that the Fed lost control and the Fed senses that, there's a chance that the Fed will overreact. So we're in a very potentially volatile period here, maybe for some of the wrong reasons. But the commentary yesterday from Bullard and and from Williams uh, about uh, you know, uh, inflation is not high enough to bother us. It's there. Uh, and to your prior conversation about uh, where, whether you're seeing it in services or materials, you know, the housing boom is evident. We've got uh, uh, lumber at an all-time high, copper used in the plumbing and whatever, uh, moving up very sharply. So we're beginning to see some inflationary pressure just on the whole reopening aspect. But the yeah. viewers should keep in mind... What's going to happen if the market begins to believe the Fed has lost control?